Moth trapping is an absolutely brilliant thing to get involved with and it's not as difficult as it seems. This is a professional moth trap, it's quite fancy, but basically it's a bucket with a funnel and a very bright light. Now the problem with commercial moth traps is that they're very expensive and they're quite inconvenient. That said, you can get something like this for about £30. It's got a nice bright light that attaches to the mains, but of course this is a bit inconvenient as well. So what I want to do is try and show you how to make a very simple moth trap for less than £5 that you can use in the grounds of your school or in your garden. And here it is. It's as simple as that. This is a bucket, a 99p from most DIY shops at the moment. Nice black bucket, good, doesn't really matter what colour it is. And all I've done is made a funnel out of some cards and paper. And I'll just show you what I've done here. It's very rough, I haven't spent a lot of time over it. You can make yours a bit neater, but I've cut that kind of shape out. And then it nicely goes together like this. And then it sits in the top of your bucket. So that's the funnel that gets the moths into the bucket and keeps them there. Oh, before I forget, the most important component of any moth trap, old egg boxes. So you put your egg box cartons torn up in the bottom and that gives the moth somewhere to hide. And then you plonk your funnel, mine's falling apart, you can glue yours a bit better. And you plonk that in the top. Now the only thing you need now is something to attract the moths. And for, well, about a pound, or this one was about seven pounds, you can buy incredibly bright lights now. They're not as bright as you get in a moth trap, commercial moth trap, but they're bright enough for the job. And what you need to do is to come up with some way devise some method of attaching this light into this bucket and attracting the moths. And that's really up to you what you do, and that's where the good fun of this comes about. You can use old bits of wire, bits of tape, bits of string, whatever you can come across to get this light into the middle. And then I think the best thing, and certainly the thing that we found the best when we've been testing this, is to make some nice veins out of um, a white card. And what you're basically trying to do is reconstruct this. Okay, and this type of structure will sit in the top of your moth trap. Your torch will be at the bottom like this. And those veins will reflect the light. And it's that that's going to attract the moths to the trap. And what happens is they'll come, they'll fly into these veins, and then they'll drop down into the trap. And they won't be able to get out again because of your funnel arrangement. It's a bit like a lobster pot. They won't be able to fly back up. And they'll seek refuge in the egg boxes underneath. And they'll stay there until the morning when you go and collect them. So the crucial thing here is this funnel, which you can make from card, sitting in a nice cheap bucket, some way of getting your light fixed into this trap so that it shines up and reflects off some veins that you can make from white card. How you go about making it is entirely up to you, but if you come up with a good trap design, why not make a short video of it, upload it onto YouTube and share it with everyone else, because this type of thing you can make so cheaply these days with these nice bright lights that you don't necessarily need to go out and spend lots of money on a regular moth trap.